You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure. It needs to be FedRAMP compliant. So what controls do you need to put in place to make that happen? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I am the CISO for Project Hosts, and today I want to talk about the PL family of controls. The PL family of FedRAMP controls only has six controls, so it's a small family, but it sets the stage for all of the other controls. The reason is because it's where you determine what is the architecture of your environment and what is your system security plan for putting in place. So when we put this together, we had four main principles for the architecture of our environment. One, we wanted to be able to serve private companies, civilian government agencies, and also the DOD. Second, we wanted to be able to serve them at three different security levels, FedRAMP moderate, FedRAMP high, and DISA IL-5 for the DOD. Third, we wanted to be able to have centralized security functions, but have separate customer deployments, which would allow customers to have maximum flexibility for configuring and customizing their environments. And fourth, we wanted to be able to support both Windows and Linux environments, but support them in a unified way that, uh, where we have centralized authentication across both. So, keeping all of these in mind, what we decided to do was to build our environment on top of three different Azure networks. Azure Public, which has FedRAMP Moderate, Azure Gov, which has FedRAMP High, and Azure DoD, which has DISA IL-5. And when I say they have those compliances, what I mean is they have those at the infrastructure level. We then had to put in place the controls at the software as a service level to bring them up to the full standard of compliance for those different levels. And so we did that on each of those. We did make our boundary a little different for FedRAMP High because we allowed our civilian customers to be able to have either FedRAMP Moderate or FedRAMP High in their Azure Gov deployments. So that was how we generally put in place our architecture. With that in mind then, we could go ahead and write our system security plan to say, okay, what are all the controls that are going to support that architecture and those principles that we put in place? That plan with all the attachments ended up being more than 800 pages and it sets the stage, it, it shows what we're doing in all these different things. A part of the plan, one of the attachments, is the rules of behavior. This is a very important piece which says these are the rules that every user must abide when they're in the environment. With those in place, we really had the whole set of controls for the PL family because they really are just the three things. They're your architecture plan, your system security plan, and your rules of behavior. And when you have those in place there, you're all set. So that concludes this video on the PL controls for the FedRAMP system security. If you have any, any questions about PL controls or FedRAMP in general, please contact us. And also please have a look at the other videos in this series and let us know any feedback that you have about them. Thank you very much.